it's time for recipes from overcooked s'mores from dragons and doo doos okay, so first we're gonna gather ingredients or you can throw them at your friends after you gather them you gotta get those pink marshmallows that we don't have because they don't sell them yeah i'm not sure why they have pink marshmallows because normal marshmallows seem to be white and their marshmallows are gigantic because they're the size of their head, but then they chop them up into... Somehow they turn into two small marshmallows after they chop them. So we just cut them in half because we don't have their magical skills of turning one large marshmallow into two small regular sized marshmallows. Look at those cute little butt marshmallows. And when they chop their bananas, they don't peel them first, so we're not going to peel them either. We're just going to chop them. Excuse me? <laughs> we had to peel them because yeah, we had to peel them I for eat eating it. purposes. <laughs> so, yeah, this is top secret footage from behind the scenes where we actually peel the bananas. Oh, dang. Why'd you put it in, you pleb? Anyways, so now we know their secrets. They actually peel the bananas. Unless they have GMO bananas that have edible skins. I don't know. Don't worry, the customers peel them themselves. <laughs> Anyways, gotta chop that chocolate. So, well, we have to unwrap the chocolate because their chocolate's just coming out of the box unwrapped since they have a huge stock of unwrapped chocolate. But we gotta unwrap and then we do the chop, chop, chop. Wow! Look at that, just follow the lines like you're in kindergarten or whatever. Yeah, but we only need one square. I don't know why they need to chop them into a bunch of small squares. Makes no sense. And That's then we chop they have more Hershey. marshmallows. Because we gotta make every kind of s'mores they make. Usually you just make your friend chop those marshmallows. Anyways, and then you stab those marshmallows. You can't stab them the way they do in Overcooked because our stabby tool is too small. And also, they don't break the graham crackers, so you have to break them yourself. Also, when they cook it, it just, like, cooks on one side. So, normally, it would just burn on one side. But, yeah, we just turned it so it would be, like, tastier because we want to eat it, okay? Yeah, so we don't actually have a wood-based fire. Ours is gas, so just use whatever heat source you have. And then we had to re-adjust um, the marshmallows because they were going to fall off that fork. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're gonna fall off the fork and make sure to turn your marshmallows so they don't burn. Yeah, this girl's turning into a marshmallow. That's why her voice turned weird. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a marshmallow now. Fuck <laughs> <Hook> me. <laughs> Toast <laughs> me. <laughs> Roast me. <laughs> Jesus Anyways, Christ. And then... You just wait until they're toasted golden brown or until they catch on fire. I don't know what kind of marshmallows you like. You guys like to eat? Oh, yeah. We just yeah, catch see, them on fire. Yeah, on fire. And then you just try to toast the top part. The top part never toasts properly, so we just yeah. let it catch on fire a little bit. And then we just put them together. We don't have a plate because uh, I guess we're cavemen who don't use plates. Also, that, that marshmallow, you have to make the whole marshmallow go inside. The whole marshmallow, I tell you. And try not to stick it to your other marshmallows. <laughs> and a beautiful s'more. So beautiful. Very beautiful. And now to toast the other ones. We're going to try to toast them the overcooked style, but it's really hard, and I think they might fall off, so... But now I do understand why when they return the plates, they're really dirty, but not why it would be, like, yeah, brown I don't dirty. Like brown sauce dirty. Maybe they, like, touched it and their hands are Ew. as dirty as mine, so then it's, like, it got the marshmallows, like, are sticky, and then they put their hand on it, and then their hand dirt gets on it. Because, I mean, they're in the wild camping, you know? And, yeah, so it's pretty hard to toast the marshmallows in this style because the middle part's not going to toast at all. Look at my beautiful camera work. It's so trash. And anyways, see, the middle part's not toasting. Just the sides are toasting. So guys, don't toast it this way. I don't know what Overcooked is thinking. Toasting their marshmallows by just sticking on top of the fire and leaving it there. This is a fire hazard. <laughs> Did you catch that last part where she, she caught it on fire? Jesus. And then we just stack those marshmallows. No one ever tells us why they need two. Why? Usually when you make... S'mores, you just use one marshmallow. They always cut them in, into, like, two smaller ones, but what's the point? Because they have GMO ones like us. And a beautiful chocolate s'more. And more breaking of the graham crackers. Wow, wow, wow. 
I'm surprised they don't make you chop the graham crackers with the hatchet, too, because apparently they chop everything with hatchets. The same hatchets they used to cut the firewood. Also, if you're going to eat it with banana, like, our bananas were, like, not ripe enough, in my opinion, at least, because the marshmallow girl doesn't like eating bananas, so, yeah. Yeah, marshmallows don't like eating bananas. Bananas are gross. Yeah, but, but try to get a really ripe one so it'll be sweeter and less weird banana and yeah, marshmallow Yeah, I tasting. think the brown ones are the best. You know, <laughs> just kidding. I don't like eating those. Okay, but the brown bananas would probably be the best, or the very speckled ones would be probably better for making s'mores with than this, like, kind of ripe banana, because this banana is probably just good for eating on its own. And here are all the s'mores all finished. Wow, wow. So beautiful. So ugly, but I ate them. Well, they... Look at that. My bite. Yeah, that's the chocolate one. It tastes okay. I don't know if it's, like, the chocolate we use, but we didn't use the Hershey's one because the Hershey's one tastes kind of, like, barf. I don't know. Me gusta. So, yeah. The chocolate one is okay. I think it... I would rate it as the second best s'mores out of the overcooked s'mores. I like the Nothing S'mores best. Yeah, the Nothing S'more is pretty good. The one with just marshmallow and graham cracker. This banana one was kind of gross because the banana wasn't really mushy. It was kind of, like, solid, and it didn't go with the marshmallow texture at all. That's why I said it's too ripe. Uh, too I unripe. mean, too unripe. Yeah, make sure to go for, like, a mushy, maybe even just mush the bananas, like, maybe if you're making banana the, bread. Go for the garbage banana, you know, it's so black, you put it in the garbage can, the liquid's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. Get, like, the banana bread, like, mushy banana, and then maybe mush it up first so it's easier and won't, like, fall out of your s'mores. Don't listen to the marshmallow. She doesn't even eat bananas. The best one is the black Anyways, one. Anyways, this marshmallow garbage. one, the one that only has meat is the best. No, you have to get the garbage banana where it's, like, liquidy. Anyways, this marshmallow and the graham cracker only s'more seems to be the best tasting one. And this is the normal way of making s'mores where you just stick the marshmallow on your fork without even chopping. Wait, I thought we were gonna put this in a different video so we could tell them to watch it. Well, now it's in this video, guys. So you uh. just toast it over your gas fire. And yeah. it gets a little bit bubbly and then you just wait until it gets toasty and brown or until it catches on fire. I don't know. You choose. You know, right now we're toasting her brother yeah that's me i'm getting real nice that's and your toasty. brother oh. i mean you look the same but oh. like <laughs> i was on fire that's your brother <laughs> well you know what we're telepathically connected so i don't know you're not I can twins oh well broken oh, graham, cracker. graham cracker bro. and then because the marshmallows are so huge you're just gonna have to pull it out oh yeah what we did was we 